But look at this thing, guys. This thing is just a beast. Man, I just, I just love the color, especially in the light. <laughs> it's amazing. I actually found a special spacer kit designed for this bike. It's uh, 8x30 for the front and rear. And I'll be able to use the RockShock Vivid. So I'm very excited for that. I'm also going to swap out the front fork with the RockShock Zeb. As I stated in my previous video. And I'm going to put this Fox 38 and this uh, RockShock Deluxe on my Turbo Levo Long Travel. And I'm going to sell it. Again guys, if anybody's looking for a, a fully custom Levo, it's a 2023 with the cascade long travel conversion so it's going to be a 170 front it'll be a 165 rear it'll have ride wrap uh, i'll go over the details but if any of you guys will be interested in the bike let me know send me an email I'll, I'll give you a great deal i'll pay for the shipping for the insurance and um i'll ship it to you guys but anyways this is my first ride on this well official ride in the in the mountain uh, it'll be my shakedown ride i guess on the santa cruz bullet I just put some air in the front shock. I put some air in the rear. I got 25 PSI on the front and rear. And uh, I'm not running tubeless at the moment, but I'll be doing that soon. The tires, they're 2.5. So I'm going to be upgrading those eventually to 2.6. But for now, we'll see how she rides. Let's get going. I'm going to share with you guys one reason why I went with a Shimano. This is the Shimano EP801, which is an uh, updated version of the EP8. It's got 20% more power. It goes from 500 peak hour to uh, 600 peak hour. It also makes it where you can run it with the Shimano electric shifting. But I'm probably going to go with the SRAM axis. The battery is amazing. I went riding around the neighborhood for like almost an hour and I only lost like one bar. So it, uh, it's definitely good power range on the battery. I don't hear as much rattle compared to my old commensal bike, which had the EP8 motor. This one's got less rattle noise. So far, so good, guys. Uh, for front tire staying planted, good response. I'm liking the suspension. Definitely liking the suspension. You know, one big reason that I decided to go with this motor Shimano just came out with an update, which I updated this morning. This motor acts just like the Bosch CX race line. And all the platforms that offer the CX race motor, I didn't like. So my only other option was, is to get this Santa Cruz because I want the VPP suspension link. And it came with a Shimano EP801. And with the EP801, it basically makes it ride just like a Bosch CX Raceline motor. So keep that in mind, guys, if you're looking for a great output, great response, look for the Shimano EP801. I tell you what, uh, the motor is very, very smooth with a new update. It's like instant response, no delay. You know, another reason why I left Specialized, after my last warranty claim into the noise I had with the motor, it took them almost two months just to look at the claim and submit info to the shop. That, that's, that's crazy. You know, their customer service definitely went downhill. 
So that was another big factor why I'm leaving Specialized and going with a different platform. You know, Santa Cruz, they make their bikes where, they actually tell you on their website, anybody can work on them. They're not gonna avoid the warranty. They don't make special tools they have to buy to service the bearings or the shock. The prices are very, very good for bearing kits and so on and so forth. Now, as, as far as I know, this is the Santa Cruz Carbon CC, which is a stronger carbon that they offer. They don't put a weight limit on rider weight on this bike. That's how confident they are with their frames, which makes me feel more comfortable riding this thing. They uh, give you lifetime warranty on the frame and uh, the bearings. So if you have any issues, you'll be taken care of. Now, I don't know if it's for the original buyer, but I am the original buyer. So for me, I don't have to worry about it. All right, I'm almost done with the climb. Then we're gonna start shredding down. Man. All right, guys, we're gonna go Armadillo. It's one of my more favorite trails. Man, all, all the leaves are falling now. Kind of hard to see the trail. I don't know what this, what kind of air to put in the suspension. I don't know how it's gonna react. So I'm gonna, gonna take it easy on this run. And then I'll know how to adjust. So far it's, same planet. Whoa. Yeah, I got I got too much air in the tires. Too much air. I'm gonna have to take some air out. All right, guys, I took a little bit of air out. You know, I should have, I should have taken the logging road because it's got less switchbacks and I could have really dialed in the suspension before going down this side. I brought my shock pump man a lot of this trail got washed out but tell you what this bike with the uh, 170 up front 170 on the rear on the travel this thing is just eating through this stuff. No problems. Very impressive. This bike kind of reminds me of my Trek rail 9.9 um, 
suspension wise. I mean, I've never had a bike from factory where it had 170 up front, 170 on the rear. So it's really impressive how Santa Cruz made this happen with factory specs. I think on their website you can run up to 180 in the front, which that's what my RockShox Zeb is. It's a 180. So this bike will be 180 in the front, 170 in the rear. Which is plenty for me. I don't need anything else. You know, running a Shimano EP801 on here with a 630 watt hour battery. There's really nothing else I need. Man, no pedal strikes. There are certain parts where I'll get a pedal strike on my Levo and my Trek. But this bike, I didn't get one. Look at that. Man. I'm gonna go check out this section of trail here. Man, the power delivery on this motor is insane. It's like instant response. Man, I love it. I came up here to take a picture of the bike for my video, but I forgot where's a good spot. Yeah. All right. 